So I do want to say, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That way you will be notified when I do bring new content, new items to review. Um, you'll be the first to get to know exactly what I got. And then if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So like I said, I received a collab box from Erin Condren. Um, and they sent me on a lot of fun items. Now, remind you, a lot of the items, well, some of the items, I say, I had in my cart um, because I was going to purchase them. But when I received this collab box, I'm like, oh, okay, now I can take it out and I can just get some of the things that wasn't in there. So I'm going to start off um, with the first thing. Okay, now remind y'all, whenever I get stuff in the mail, no matter who it's from, I take everything out of the box, the wrap of the packing, because I cannot stand a box to be just sitting. So, um, I take everything out, and then I don't have anything to unwrap. So, some stuff still is wrapped, some is not. Okay. So, this one here is it's called a, um, it's like a weekly um, little pad. And I don't think it's sticky. I won't know till I open it up. But it does have, this is um, more for the academic. I'm going to blow it up just a little bit here. But the thing here is the color blends thing. Um, and it does have today's projects and exams. Um, and you have that for each day. Then you have some of the productivity. Um for each day and then of course you have like a weekend little things if you know things that you have to complete over the weekend and it i mean to me it is part of that back to school collab but this can be really used um for any um projects or whatever that you may need to use for i'm currently not in school but um i will be using this just for weekly actions that i need to take and it says happening this week. So you can kind of write down a gist of what's going on. And then, of course, you can delegate to each day. So it is in this color blends thing here. So that is the first item. Um, the second item um, that I did receive is this habit, habit tracker. I think this is... Um, I think it's a good item to have um, because sometimes, you know, you have to write down like your weekly habits in your weekly planner. I think this is a good way to take one of these and it's posted. So, of course, it's going to stick well. I think about I'm going to take one and put it in my weekly planner um, for that week. And so that'll just help me. I can write down here like every day or well, weekly. There's something that I do on a weekly basis, or of course, I could use this as my spiritual little week like what I do each day in the week of. So, yeah, this is a perfect thing to have. So, that's that. The second thing, remind you, I told you I took everything out. So, they did send me the in bloom, it is the sticky note ball. Um, and I remember this coming out last year, and I didn't buy it because I just wasn't enthused about buying it. Um, and I have a hard time using sticky notes as it is. But I've been getting better, so I have been using them. But um, I think I did take one off to play with. I guess it did. So you just peel here, and you have a, pop a sticky note. And it, of course, it only sticks down on one side. So this is the sticky part. And then you could um, take some correct, not the correct to take, but like a scotch adhesive roller. And you can stick it if you want it to stick all the way down like I do. So it is in that balloon thing, but I think they do have other um, design that you can use as well. So um, let's see. So that's it. Um, I was looking at purchasing the um, blush calculator. I had this in my cart and they sent it over to me. So I'm always, I love a calculator and I don't want to always use my phone 
to when I like to calculate things. So I have this and I really like that it does have the big numbers and yeah, super cute and very, you can leave it on your desk, put it in your bag. And I probably will put one in my bag because I do have this. I got this off Amazon and of course I like it because of the sounds here, of course. So I have two of these, so one of these will stay at my desk. And I'll probably take this cute little blush on as well. I'll take it with me on the go. So, yep, that's one. That's another thing. Okay. Let's open it up. Okay. So, this is something new that I know didn't come out on the first um, back to school collab. Hang on. So, it is called Rituals the rituals rituals and routines and i love this color you have like it's a metallic for your looking color here and then you have like a rose gold not a rose gold a gold coil here and it's in the a5 size i mean this cover is super cute in person and i don't have this thing snapping in good So, it's a rituals and routines, and then it got, um, it's a daily journal, and then it tells you how to use it, and I won't read all of this, but it just tells us how, um, you know, if you can find ways to have peace, and that way you can check in, you can set up for the month here, it's a weekly planning and reflecting, um, then you have daily routines and rituals, reflecting and celebrating, let me see, can I blow this up? Um, what's a routine? Um, what's a ritual? Um, let's see. And then it's a routine and ritual consideration, how to create them. Um, so it really just gives you like an in-depth um, way or, you know, explanation on how to use this. And then you see here, it say checking in, how, how I currently feel most of the time, um, helpful habits for routine, positive actions, or habits for routines, or rituals. And then you have a brainstorm section for both. And then, uh, so it's monthly. So um, it say this month's intentions, what existing routines or rituals do you have, ones you wanna try. So, I like this tab here. I think that is so cute. I like the color scheme here. And then, so you have three months of this. So, I'm going to just flip through this week, how I want to feel, what I'm trying out. Routine, rituals, how I'm feeling. And this just goes on for, of course, the weeks and the month. And then, I want to get to the end of that month. Oh, okay, so it do give you some of the, how this week went. And then I want to get the seat to the end of the month. Then you have like a line. So, of course, you always reflect over your week. And then you have a line note page, just ideas or something that you want to, um, you know, probably go more in depth with. You have... Um, a note page there and then of course you start with your next month so it's three months of it and it all has some cute little tabs and then move to that one there's a nice color here and that's basically it and then um let's see what the end do you have like a quarterly recap okay so you say how the past three months have been what I've noted was change routines that work well for me, routine that work rituals that work well for me, other things um, that support my routines or rituals. So, then how I feel, how I've grown, what I learned about myself, what I'm proud of, and what I've accomplished. So, I think this is a pretty, pretty neat 
journal, a daily journal that's all about routine. I know I have some routine that I stick by daily. Um, that's weekly as well, but this is really going to help me create new ones and really see how they're helping me. And I will link this. I'm super excited to use this. Okay, so the next item I have is this. Hang on, let me see. Can I? Okay. So it's this. Um, oh my goodness. So it's a um, three subject notebook. I'm glad it had in the inside. And I always had like this cover progress, not perfection. Um, and. If you're in school, of course, you can use this three subject notebook um, for different subjects because here you have a dashboard, like you have a line here, like in a normal planner, EC planner, you do have consider this as a dashboard and you can kind of create what you want to create here in a notebook. And then you have a lot of line note pages and then let's see. Then you have this line note pages, and then of course you have a quote on each one. What you do today can prove your tomorrow. Once again, everything is pretty much the same. So, and you don't have to use this for school. It can be for um, different areas if you need a notebook, a use of a notebook for like the colors. That's one day can you can use this is weekly, I would say monthly, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use this. Um, but I do have an idea, and then you do have some um tabs here in the back, so I'm not sure how I will use it. But if you're a student, this would be perfect if you know you have any kids or um. If, you know, teachers that you know that could use it, you just for yourself. It could be simple as um, home, school, work. It could be used in different ways. So, it's no one way. And of course, it comes with the platinum coil. So, it's not a one way. Okay. So, the next item they sent me this is a seven by nine coil. And this a is the family organizer. And I know that you probably saw this on a couple of creators platform, but I think this is a very good planner and it's this family organizer book. And they did send it to me in the harmony neutral theme. And then of course it started in July, but I just got it. And they do have school, dates to remember, memories of milestone milestones so you know it is created for the family extracurriculars milestone achievement memories and so forth then you have line note pages um let's see and it's gonna be pretty much the same throughout then they say the days are long but the years are short um let's see um the funny favorite this month, the funniest thing said, best memory for this month, special moments I remember forever, more memories, milestones. So each month, of course, you will get it. You can have like an overview of what, what your family do that need to be done each month. And then you do have, let's see like a recurring schedule, like a weekly overview, habit track and task, traveling, family goals. And this is pretty much gonna be repetitive each month. So I just flip through just to show you the cover. Hold on. Okay. On that, you got the blue. This a pretty color. Same thing for November. And I really like how it just lightly colored there, neutral. And it's a twelve month. So I think 
this is very beneficial in planning vacation when your kids have extracurricular activities, games, sports, whatever. That'll be a good way to use it for. Um, or even like if you have, I would say like if you have a person that always planning stuff for your family, like a family member, like family reunions, I think this is a good thing to use. Um, you keep track of everything. So yeah, so it starts in July I and mean, then you know, in June, which is considered um, the end of the academic year. And let's see. What else they got? So you got line note pages. Um, and then of course you got the following year calendar, um, dates. Services. And then, of course, you got some little stickers that usually come in the back of EC planners. Um, yeah, oh, I like that. Oh, this is different. I like how they got the little color dots or the dots here. That's cute. That's different. And so they got them at each month color scheme. Then you have a black folder here in the back, both sides. And that's the end of the family organizer. And I can see myself doing so much with this family organizer. Because I don't have kids. I'm not married. But at the same time, I know that it can be utilized in so many ways. I do got family, brothers, nieces, nephews. So it's easy. My nephew, he's a basketball player. My nieces, you know, they're uh, one is trying to do chili and the other one, you know, with track and cheering as well so this is a perfect way for me to keep up with them the next thing i did receive is the um the seven by nine folio um the seven by nine folio um and they sent it to me in the harmony color and it's really how you keep your planner, you know, just protect your planner, have something to carry everything in. Um, it's kind of wide, um, but um, it has a pen loop here. Then you have a pocket here. You can put like a, a um, notepad in it that I don't have. I think mine is very tight because I gotta try to put stuff in here already and it just seems like it's so tight. Anyway, so this is the drift of using this. I use this. I can put a little notepad back here in the back. I think I got to kind of work it. Uh -oh, excuse me for my camera. So you have that, then you have, um, you know, where you slide the planner in, you have some pockets, you just put whatever here. Um, now, I was trying to put this in here, but let me tell y'all, is that I had the hardest time getting this planner in here. And I'm just not, I'm just not gonna do it. I was gonna try to do it, but the gist of it is, getting it in here and i had a hard time getting it in here so just know that it goes in here i had a hard time taking it out because i wanted to play around with it so yeah very cute but it's very light so i'm assuming that it can get dirty so that's that and then they sent me this ruler here it's the um, go bookmark ruler which you can bookmark and place in your planner or either in a book that you're reading and I really wanted this this was one of the items I had in my cart so I'm super excited they did send me that um, they did send me these 
colorful fine liner pens and I, um and then of course it has the it remind me of settlers pen because you can um kind of fold it over so you know it could be like a little stand and the colors are very pretty Um, and you can do the name, it tells you all the names here are the colors. I'm not gonna do a swatch test, um, but I will be probably doing one like on my Instagram channel. Okay, so while I'm doing it, then they sent me these as well that color changing brush pens, and I threw away the paper that I had did a test on. So, the colors in here are these, and they color change them. And I get the other one stuck in here. Yeah. Very pretty, and then it shows you how they work. Ways to use them. And last but not least, this is the Academic Planner. It's the In Bloom. Super excited to get my hands on this because, like I said, I'm not a student, but I do plan on going back when I need to start back up. And I don't know what is this all on my... But, um... So, of course, you know, you have your yearly view for this year and next year. And then, of course, you have class schedule. Um, you can write all that down for each semester, or if you're not in college, you can use it for high school or any kind of school. And then you have your monthly view, and this is in the in bloom, and then goals and events, you have projects and exams, and then your weekly. Um, you get lined over here, and then our productivity things to do. Um, so, yeah. And then, let's see. And then Sunday, it just takes to do. Because mostly you don't have that much to do on Sundays and Saturday, the weekend, but it do give you a little room to write down little stuff. Just in case you want to complete anything over the weekend. And we all know as a student, yeah, weekend as you do. So, we do have a little quote here. And this is September, and I'm going to do kind of, so you cannot flip through. And then you know this goes on into of course next year. And then you have like this blush looking to hold your place and it's just like that for the whole year. And then we'll be looking for the next lunch next year. So and then you have a couple of note pages in the back. And this cat. And then you have next year's overview. And of course, you can always write down things that you kind of know ahead of time. Uh -uh, you can kind of record it until you get your new planner. So, this is all the items they sent me. And I'm super thankful that they sent these over, over to me so I could share them with you on your platform. I mean, on my platform. Um, and I'm excited about using them. And I'll be showing you more ways that I'll use them. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my name is Ashley's underscore plans. And so be sure to check me out there. Um, that's where I be most of the time. And I'm going to try to be a little bit more active. I know I say that a lot, but I'm going to try to be a little bit more active. Um, 
so I can kind of show you what's going on. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.